Hello everyone, specifically YouTube. This is going to be one of the few recorded videos I make, though I'm hoping to change that. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be playing Windowsill, it's quite an old game, and I'm actually playing it as a primer for a different game <laughs> or video, but that's going to be coming out soon. Be excited for that. Let's get into it. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I have a cube. Okay, I can, ah, ah, so this game is a bit of a puzzler, but it's almost like a surrealist um, envirom environment, like scene puzzler. Also, if you hear birds in the background, uh, just accept it. I can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. Um, so it could be quite trippy, but it seems like we can just interact with everything. Okay. Ooh. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a game that came out re well, relatively recently called Superliminal, and uh, it was in development for quite a while. And uh, this is less advanced than that, but I think it's taking a sort of similar approach where your environment behaves a little bit differently to how you think it would traditionally. Yeah, this is a much simpler a sort of I a sort of um oh, that's strange. Sort of take on the concept. Um Superliminal is a very cool game, maybe I'll cover that sometime soon. Ooh. I hope that uh, I can record this nicely. Okay, well, the door's open. Uh, it seems like we just got, like, a sort of taste for that then. Yeah, okay. So that was just a little demonstration of what we can expect, I suppose. Windowsill. Yeah, it's sort of fun. There's a hand. Interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit more uh, absurd <laughs> than one may have initially expected. Um, let's see if we can get all of them down. Oh, wait, there's a cube. As you see, I need a cube to open the door. There we go. Ah, you see. It was in the background, but now it's in the foreground. That's the that's similar to what super, I'm trying to justify my comparison to super liminal. I can fix all of that in the recording. Hmm. Hello. Oh, it was a cube. There we go. Got to open the door. Oh wow, my chair is very squeaky. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's see what's happening here. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I thought maybe I'd finished all of the layers, but I hadn't. No, I can't drop in there. So I only heard about this game recently, but it is quite old. Uh, there we go. No? So, <laughs> if my computer was having trouble recording this, 
Um, maybe I should stay away from recording more intense games, or at least uh, turn down the quality on those. Oh. That's interesting. Those bees or birds? Ah, there we go, this is like a motor. Oh, we're charging this one up. This is very cool. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, not quite. Okay. Let me open it again. There we go. It's solving itself. Ever the Rubik's Cube. I don't think this game is super long. It's about minutes to half an hour, depending on how fast you can solve it. Hello? <laughs> there we go. That's a bit terrifying. Uh, hello. I don't know about you. <laughs> and I'm sorry if this is awakening something in you. Feels a lot like a very creative tech demo, which I don't mind. Goodbye. Goodbye, you horrifying creature. Oh, can I just dismantle this whole thing? Oh, there's like an ocean behind it. Oh, there's the earth. This is interesting. There we go. Smoke or a cloud. Oh, cubes. What oh, can I get a cube, please? Oh, there's a bit of wind now. I see. Ah, we're getting the cloud closer. There we go. There we go. It's unfortunate. Maybe I'll cut out some more attempts of that. As far as you're aware, I got this first time, I'm sure. <laughs> hmm. Oh. This isn't Earth, it's a weird globe with two continents. One of the tricks that I know with puzzlers is that, barring red herrings, if, usually if there's something that you haven't used, then that's what you need to use to solve the puzzle. So I haven't used the legs, and I don't think it's a red herring. There we go. I don't know what made that one different to the others, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, bowling ball. Moon. That was fast. Man. Oh, how do we get across? Oh. Wait, 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 can we? Activate some gravity. I'm burning through the skies, yeah. 200 degrees. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the, that whole thing in. Just keep spinning, dude. Let's see. Oh, 
early 3D games tend to impress me with uh, what they can do and the processes that they use to make it happen. I wouldn't say this is the earliest example of a 3D game, but it is uh, relatively um, impressive for what it is. Because what was coming out in 2009? I, do you know the only game I really remember exactly coming out in 2009 is Spectrobe's Origins? Yep. Would I say this is on par with that? No, well, no, but I wouldn't say any game is on par with that. Perhaps. How fast can I get it to spin? That's my current question. That's interesting. It, it moved from one plane to another. Can I use you to travel? Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I need to take a sip of my water. Thinking juice. Let's see. I'm <laughs> breaking the physics engine just a little bit. Oh, that could have worked. Oh, so I did have the right idea earlier. Oh. <laughs> Almost lost it there. Anyway, this recording has been going on for quite a while. Hello. Are you having a good time there, sir? I see. Is this the Omniverse designed for our guy? Oh, there it is. So let me do this. Distract him. I think I've got this now. It's just a matter of timing. Uh, almost. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Oh, it's the Colosseum. Oh, uh, maybe it's not. This has been fun. So far, I'm having a good, relaxed time. Oh, there's the... Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, so this is one of those. Yeah. Maybe if we drop it onto the tail. Nah. Ah, there we go. No, oh, whoops. Let's try that again. Might be this. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see. This is like one of those chain reaction puzzles. Oh, there we go. I'm glad I put the finger there. That was cute. 
It was satisfying seeing it jump around the whole place. I think that's what uh, made those types of videos and shows so popular. It's just it's satisfying to look at. Oh. Going around at the speed of sound. I got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Let's go around the Coliseum. We. We. It's like um, well, it's a few references there. We can talk about how it's a reference to Charles Lee from Hamilton. I'm a general. We. Or it's uh, those Freddie Mercury memes where he gets a Nintendo Wii. We. Is there anything else I need to do? Oh. Constellation. That's topical for what I was... For what I'm preparing for. Is this our ascension? Are we dead? Are we the train? Existentialism. I don't know if that's actually existentialism. There's another constellation here. This is very relaxing. Let me just get more. Constellation. Ah, there's our train. Lost train home. did it and now we can look at any level that we want well that was very relaxing thank you so much for joining me um hopefully this video will be up soon but uh i hope you had a good relaxing time and i'll try to have more videos out on youtube uh, in the near future goodbye <laughs>